Welcome everybody back to Totally Teen. I was just thinking, uh, I did mention something about social media and it just now occurred to me, I didn't mention online gaming. I wonder how many people are doing that, kids and adults. And you can invite other people in to play with you. How do you know if that person is actually who they say they are? So let me just run through a quick scenario with you. What if a 13 year old boy met what he thought was a 16 year old cheerleader that lives in a totally different area. He has no friends other than other online gamers in communication with this person. And then just like I said before, all these parents think that their kids aren't going to do it. Do you think that that 13 year old boy, once he gets an invitation from this supposed 16 year old girl that happens to be passing through his town and willing to take a break at a park so they could meet face to face? I think the 13 year old boy would be, oh my gosh, this 16 year old gorgeous cheerleader wants to meet me. And then that's the last time you see your kid because he's not going to tell you that he's been communicating and he's, you know, it's, Guys, um, I'm sure what we were talking about, we were talking about like immediate protection, immediate grabbing, but I'm telling you, not just kids, but adults are groomed as well. And it can happen in any kind of situation. Right now, lockdown, shut in, shelter in place, whatever y'all are doing, you're spending a lot more time with your kids. Go get some slingshots and have some target practice. Show the kids how to change a tire. Show them how to plant a garden. There's so many skills that they need to learn. Some lost arts, there's going away. And we have succumbed to the fact that it's an electronic age and we just do things differently now. Well, do you think your kids might need to know how to grow vegetables at some point in time? I think it's time to start doing things, games, make games out of things. So Anita, back to you. I just wanted, you hit on a hot topic for me. <clears throat> I was in a business meeting the other day, and, and they were promoting, actually, a new gaming platform. It's going to be very lucrative for people. It's very addictive. And they said, and it rivals a dating platform without being called a dating platform because people can actually connect and play games together and develop a, a digital relationship. Now, as we're coming out of this, this, uh, this time of physical distancing from people, but a new type of social connecting, and people are now going into these gaming rooms to um, fill their time, uh, occupy themselves, and some people are thinking that if they don't hear anything from their children, that they're busy and occupied and everything's great, it is a misnomer to believe that it's an innocent gaming platform <clears throat> and a parent involvement on anything like that is is probably more important than we even know tony when i heard that it was very disturbing to me to think that people who are extremely lonely because they've been they've been physically distanced and disconnected and this has been their only form of social connection when they do get the chance to get out, that they might start making these, quote, these physical connections with these people they've socially connected with and played games with and they've spent this time with. And, and maybe they've gotten a picture and it could be a picture of something besides themselves. Um, very, very important. This could be its own complete topic in my world of how we have this great internet thing, right? To connect us all together. But there's so many unknowns and and um, it was kind of obvious for the senior saint when the three young men walked up to him that it was a negative situation very quickly for him. Unfortunately, in this digital age, this online internet, a lot of people don't see it coming. And it could, that park could be a very, could be a final, um, a final act that make you a statistic. Mm -hmm. There is an awakening happening around the world right now. Yep. This is something that I think that you need to wake up to. We're sharing this message in love because we're concerned. 
we see these things happening and this is not going to get better right now. It is going to get worse. This battle is being fought by some brilliant uh, people and you're seeing those things going in the right direction, but you still have <clears throat> the the Jeffrey Dahmers of the world. You still got the, um, oh, what was Ted Bundy? How did Ted Bundy get his victims? He was a handsome man and he had, uh, he was on crutches and he was just fumbling. He dropped his groceries right next to his car. Um, the other one, I can't remember his name, and his, his catch was uh, he needed um, his battery, his battery's dead, he needed a boost. Although there's things being done, especially when it comes to ending the trafficking, um, there's still the buyers that are not having their addictions fed. Mm -hmm. There are cults, there are different types of worships that involve the children that they need, that they believe that they need, and you, it's, it's not good. So keep an eye on your kids, be totally involved with them. I know that you're educating them, but something happens in those children's brains when you're not around and they have an opportunity. You were a kid at one time to think about all those things that you kept hidden from your parents and the risks that you take in your life or you took and you're wondering, wow, why am I even still alive today? And I'll raise my hand to that. I did a lot of stupid stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so glad that I survived everything, but uh, just stay well, keep yourself protected, do some fun things with your family don't be freaked out about everything that we just told you. Just be aware of it. Um, we will be having some guests on. We can talk about more of these things in depth. Um, be careful of what you're watching on TV, the music you listen to, the people you follow. Start looking for the symbolisms that is used in everything you're taking in through your eyes. And once you do that, you will be very surprised surprised as how you have been led along by this and not even known and it does go into everything we just discussed so we can delve deep into that later with some interviews Anita we're gonna I'm gonna let you close this out so I, I hope that your fear is minimized that your facts are clear and that your future's bright as we educate, tool up, and proceed forward to be part of the goodness that's coming. So thanks for being here today.